Pilates exercise can really boost your strength and flexibility, but is it enough to move the needle on the scale? A lot of women ask me, can I actually lose weight by doing Pilates? Well, I'm gonna answer that video for you today. My name is Dr. Dawn on the loan. I am a Pilates instructor and women's health physical therapist. And I advocate the use of Pilates, especially in my own practice of having a studio and helping women overcome injuries and helping their back and their joints feel better. But Pilates exercise is going to be a different type of exercise and it depends on a lot of different factors. But the overall answer is yes, you can lose weight by doing Pilates. So I want to explain what ha actually happens and how your body can get more toned and actually lose weight with Pilates. Well, there are different types, whether you're on a mat doing Pilates or you're on the equipment like a reformer I have behind me. Now, Pilates is a strength building workout, but it's not going to be the same as a high intensity cardio workout, like going to a spinning class or jogging or going to a hit high intensity uh, fitness class. It is going to be a little bit different. Now you can burn two to 400 calories per session if you're doing Pilates and moving through a flow of exercises for about an hour. But Pilates is going to help in the best way long-term for your body. And the truth is women over 40, your body has changed and you have to give it a little bit more attention in certain ways. And being able to avoid injuries and keeping your body more flexible and mobile through use of Pilates exercise is going to have that carry over to your daily life. So if you're not, if your body's not breaking down as much and you feel like you are more fit and active and mobile, then therefore you can push yourself doing some other things in life that you wouldn't normally have done. And you can also stick to an exercise program without stopping for a several weeks because you're injured. Now that is one of the best benefits of Pilates exercise. Now you are going to be building muscle as well. And if you have any concerns like having arthritis or having a disc problem in your back or having some aches and pains in some of your joints where being upright and doing a lot of load bearing type exercise bothers you, that's where Pilates can be a huge benefit because you can use the equipment by their springs and resistance with the equipment that make the exercises a lot more difficult and make you feel like you really are getting a burn in your muscles and helping tone your entire body. So yes, you can lose weight with doing Pilates, but if you're staying consistent, you also are going to see those long-term benefits of staying away from injuries and making your body just feel better overall. Uh, one of the other pluses, and I noticed this for myself, that after a high intensity workout, I started to feel beat up. It takes me two to three days to really recover and feel back to normal. Well, after Pilates, I feel like I got a great workout, but I actually have more energy and I don't feel that ache in my muscles and my joints. Instead, I'm standing a little bit taller. Um, I notice my balance is better and also my back is not hurting. So there's so many benefits to doing Pilates exercise, not only boosting your strength and helping your flexibility and helping break any breakdown in your body over time, but you can also see the results by toning your midsection because it is going to focus on your core so much and those small little muscles that you don't always get to work if you're doing a gym workout or doing a lot of like squats and lunges, or bicep curls. You're instead gonna be focused on moving your body through exercises where you really have to have a lot of attention to detail and it can be rather fun because we can be very creative and no Pilates workout is exactly the same each time. Now you can't just count on Pilates to just melt the weight off overnight. That's not what I'm saying, but it does have some great long-term benefits for you. And most of the women that we have seen huge transformations with are women over 40 that have 
said and stated the same things that I just mentioned too, and they get very frustrated with trying to do exercises that they did in their 20s and 30s, and it's not quite working the same for their body. And they see a huge change if you do Pilates consistently over six to eight weeks and even longer over time. So Pilates can be a great way and a great addition to your weight loss journey. Now, I want to explain different types of Pilates. Like I said, there's mat Pilates and there's also reformer or equipment Pilates. Now, they are both having good, great benefits. I mean, mat exercises you can do on your own at home. I have some other videos on this channel with Pilates exercises that are simple without any equipment. But if you really want to get more of that burn and work the muscles a little bit harder, then I would recommend doing Pilates on the equipment because of the resistance of the springs is going to be able to challenge your muscles a little bit harder too. Now there's other benefits with the core strength. You're also going to ease back pain. You're going to help your posture. You may notice that you can sit longer without your back aching and getting stiff and you can get in and out of bed easier. Also, your muscles are going to be a lot and joints are going to be a lot more flexible because of the range of motion that we take you through during some of the Pilates exercises. It is different from yoga. Pilates does focus on breathing, yes, and focuses on flexibility, but you are going to always think about where your midsection or your core area is and being able to activate those while you're moving your arms and legs through some exercises as well. So a lot of focus is on the midsection of your body, which is so important when we're talking about weight loss too, and really toning those areas around your hips that might be hard to do if you're just doing a gym workout. You can get uh, a different type of muscle strengthening in Pilates. So overall, if you're incorporating Pilates into also doing some cardiovascular work like walking or jogging or cycling, Pilates is a great benefit to do at least twice a week. We have seen some huge transformations in the women that we have seen from being able to not bend over or not be able to walk in and out of a grocery store to now running marathons. Like it's pretty amazing all of the benefits of Pilates and what it can do with your body if you're consistent over time and addressing your spine mobility and your hip mobility and also just those supportive muscles around your back and around your midsection can do wonders for you. That's why athletes don't talk about it enough, but they also are doing Pilates to help their chosen sport as well. So if you have an interest in Pilates, go back and watch some of my uh, Pilates series videos where I show you little snippets of a simple mat routine that you can do for your hips or for your back. I have some other exercise videos on this channel. If you haven't already hit subscribe, I hope you found this helpful and it answered some questions for you. I know a lot of women ask me that, so I wanted to be able to explain it and just rave about all the benefits of Pilates exercise and hopefully it can do that for you as well. Thanks so much for watching.